Today I'm sharing one really helpful tip to make sure that your photos pop in Lightroom. So what is going on guys? Welcome to the first quick tip Tuesday of the new year 2021. We're off to a fresh start. I have a lot of awesome content planned for you. I have uh, pretty much my entire YouTube calendar planned out and uh, left some wiggle room for some spontaneity as well, obviously. But today in this video, we're going to we're going to dive in immediately right into Lightroom. So let's go. I'm going to show you how you can get your photos to really pop using this one simple tool. And that tool is the tone curve. If you guys are ignoring the tone curve, you can't. You cannot ignore it. It is a powerful, powerful tool. So let's take a look. I've added some basic adjustment here. Um, nothing special. Uh, this is the raw image here. This is with some basic adjustment. Doesn't that look, look that good? Because there's nothing really added to this image. I have only kind of like balanced out the highlights and and the uh, shadows and all those things haven't added any color grading, haven't added anything else to this image. No, no, no HSL, nothing. But if I don't use the tone curve, this is what it looks like. If I do use the tone curve, it turns into this. This, this alone, the difference between this image and this image is the tone curve. And I'm going to show you what I do here. Essentially, my tone curve looks like this almost all the time. All right. It is this kind of like if you were to draw a D onto the screen here, uh, that's kind of the shape that it's in. Normally highlights are around zero to negative uh, 30. Lights are always at like plus 30. This almost never moves. The darks I bring up to anywhere from, you know, plus 50 to, to higher than that. And then the shadows somewhere around negative 40, 50. If I really want a lot of punch, then I will bring it down. You can see that you can see how much this this uh, darkens her her eyes here, but uh, somewhere around negative 50 looks to be pretty good. Um, so just to show you what all these do, the highlights will really look at her skin. It almost like makes it look really just muted. There's like no detail in the highlights if you push it all the way down. So this normally stays around uh, zero to even negative negative 20 is fine if you just want to soften some of the highlights. The, I'll come back to the lights in a second. The darks lift up the uh, another area of like the shadows or the blacks that, that would happen in like the basic tab. So that's what the darks do here. So we'll go back to plus 50 and I've showed you what the shadows, shadows do. The lights is really what makes this pop. That adds the extra contrast. So if I get rid of this all together, you can see it's, it's a super flat image. But if I want to bump this to plus 30, all of a sudden there's so much more contrast, so much more life to this image. And so that's what I do every single time I add this, this, this D shape into uh, the tone curve. And you got to make sure if you want to make sure that you're doing this right, make sure that you're doing it on the sliders and not trying to do it in the actual curve itself. Um, and to do that, you just gotta make sure that you click on this double lined, uh, the first thing in the adjust panel up here. Um, if you're on any of these, they won't show up. Uh, make sure you click on this one there and it will show up. Now, there's some other powerful stuff in the tone curve that I'm not going to go into. If you wanted to co cover some color grading, you wanted to co cover some uh, color balance, things like that. Obviously, you know, if you move this around, it affects the color. Right now, we're just affecting the exposure, the highlights, the contrast, the shadows, all of those things. Uh, so that is the tone curve here. So we're going to go in. I'll show you again. This is this is without the tone curve. I've already, again, I've balanced this image a little bit to uh, expose for highlights, shadows, those things. This is with the tone curve on. Packs such a punch. So definitely use the tone curve one more time. Let me show you. This is balanced without the tone curve. There's the raw image. There's a little bit of editing. Here's with the tone curve on. Added so much extra punch and contra. Really makes your photos pop, really makes them stand out. Um, I don't like to necessarily be a uh, dark and moody photographer or a light and airy photographer. I find I'm somewhere in between and I like to have a lot of color, a lot of pop, a lot of contrast, uh, but not too much, obviously. So this uh, this tone curve is a great way to, uh, to make sure that your photos pop. Do not overlook the tone curve. It is a wonderful, wonderful tool. So if I were to edit this image, 
we have this uh with this here already let's bring this up to to 30 basic adjustment tab is what i mean we have done already we'll bring this up to around 50. we'll bring shadows down to negative 50. and there you go that's pretty good now i'll adjust this just a little bit to add a little extra extra something here and then once you're done that you can go back to the basic adjustments tab and then readjust some of the some of the settings here and i often find that i'm bringing my exposure down a good bit as i'm increasing the shadows and the blacks so that's 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 the gist of it guys there's the before and after um that's it that's how to make your photos pop with just the tone curve so do not overlook the tone curve it is a great little tool uh, I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, I have a lot of great stuff coming, guys. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe. Uh, and I want to know what you want to learn in 2021. I want to add your uh, your ideas to my, my content list. So in the comments, uh, let me know what you want to learn, what you're struggling with in your photography business. And I will make sure I add that to my list to teach that to you guys in 2021. Uh, other than that, please share this content with a friend. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.